If you look at its front feet, you can see it's got these two huge claws on each one of them. In a world where we often perceive ourselves as the apex predators, it's humbling to realize that true superpowers can be found in the animal kingdom. While we rely on external tools and machines to enhance our abilities, certain creatures are born with extraordinary talents that defy imagination. From a shooting shrimp to an eel with electrifying powers, here are 20 animals that prove superpowers actually exist. Number 20. Ant Eaters Ant eaters look nowhere near capable of killing us, but an ant eater eliminating opponents with the hug of death is actually not unheard of. Sure, they might not have much strength or even a strong jaw with massive teeth, but their claws are not to be messed with. They're like a full set of kitchen knives on their limbs. The giant anteater, to be more specific, has caused the death of at least one human with an action that looks more like a hug than an attack strategy. They can prop themselves upright, using their tails for balance, and reach out with their claws to inflict serious damage. According to the Wilderness Medical Society, a 47-year-old man from Guajara County in northern Brazil's Amazonas state was hunting with his two sons in 2012 when their dogs cornered a fully grown giant anteater. Feeling nervous and likely knowing it could be harmed, it was standing upright threateningly. The man didn't want to shoot the giant anteater, knowing he could harm his dogs if he missed the shot, so he decided to approach the animal with a knife. The anteater grabbed the man's forearms and inflicted puncture wounds that resulted in severe bleeding. One of the man's sons shot and killed the anteater, but it was too late for their father. He died of his wounds, with one being a serious injury to the left femoral artery. Number 19. Peregrine Falcons The cheetah probably comes to mind when you think about the fastest animals on Earth. And sure, cheetahs sure are fast, but peregrine falcons are even quicker. Believe it or not, they can perform high-speed dives from great heights that see them reaching speeds of 320 kilometers or 199 miles an hour. Now that's quick. Their everyday flying isn't as quick as the running pace of a cheetah at up to 55 miles an hour, but that doesn't take away from their insane flying abilities. These 14 to 9 inch birds with wingspans of up to 3.6 feet have been known to pull off some amazing stunts when food is on the line. According to Ken Franklin, who performed a study on peregrine falcons in 2004, they have the potential to reach speeds of up to 389 kilometers or 242 miles an hour. That easily makes them the fastest animal in the world. But how does such a small animal manage to fly faster than a MotoGP race bike? <laughs> Well, it all comes down to its wing morphing abilities. When they reach high altitudes of more than 3,500 feet, they bring their wings close to their bodies before descending. As they descend and their speed picks up, one of the wings pushes forward with its head while the other wing is pulled backward. The tail is also folded and the feet are tucked in. They basically become the shape of a tornado, making them incredibly aerodynamic with minimal air resistance. Number 18. Pistol Shrimp It's all in the name, really. Pistol shrimp are not ordinary shrimp, and many marine critters fear them. Get close to them and risk being shot. While many marine creatures have unique defense strategies, I can't think of any as unique as sonic hunting, in which a pistol shrimp can stun and kill their prey using bullets made of bubbles. Sure, their tough exoskeletons and sharp appendages are suitable enough for hunting and protection, but this built-in weapon takes their skills to a whole new level. They have one enlarged snapper claw that they can open and close at incredible speeds almost like the water pressure and resistance don't mean anything. The speed at which they can produce the bubbles means they are so fast and hot that their targets don't stand a chance. The top pincer cocks open while the bottom pincer sits immobile. 
When the pincers slam shut, water rushes out and creates a vortex, causing water to shoot out at 65 miles an hour. The sound it makes is louder than a gun at 210 decibels, and the resultant shockwave can stun and sometimes even kill nearby prey. Then there's the accompanying flash of light and heat. The light lasts for about 100 nanoseconds and isn't detectable by the human eye, and the heat in the bubble is about 8,540 degrees Fahrenheit. That's as hot as the sun! Have you liked this video and subscribed to our channel yet? Well, you better do it now, or a pistol shrimp might turn up in your bedroom while you're sleeping and show you just how powerful its pincers are. Number 17. Axolotl Axolotl, which are aquatic salamanders, live for 10 to 15 years. But honestly, what you're about to learn about them will probably make you wonder how they don't live forever. They can regenerate vital body parts and organs. Axolotl are known for regenerating not only limbs, but their own heart, spinal cord, and even brain. Even if they lost a large section of their brain through damage or removal, they could regenerate the missing bits. It is downright incredible, and if we learn how they do it, who knows what that could mean for our own brains. Scientists put their regeneration abilities to the test by removing a section of the telencephalon part of the brain. They then used a specialized SCRNA-SEQ method to identify and sequence the various new cells during each regeneration stage. Over a period of 1 to 12 weeks post-injury, they discovered that all cell types removed from the brain of the axolotl were entirely restored within three months. We still have no idea how this could translate into humans or mice, but the more we examine the genes and cell types of axolotls that allow them to enjoy near-perfect regeneration, the closer we might be to repairing or regenerating our own brains in the future. Number 16. Naked Mole Rats Naked mole rats aren't the most attractive animals in the animal kingdom, especially since they look like skin sacks with teeth but researchers are not studying them for their looks. They're researching them because these animals don't seem to age and they seem to have total immunity to cancer. Who knows what that could mean for us if we can learn why. Now, we all know that the older we get, the higher our risk of dying. As we get older, we get sick. That's just what happens. In fact, science says that the risk doubles each year once we turn 30 but that doesn't seem to be the case for naked mole rats. The lead researcher of the anti-aging company Calico, Rochelle Buffenstein, said that naked mole rats go against everything we know about mammalian biology. She's researched the creatures for over three decades and documented every death. After looking at 3,299 naked mole rats, she determined that their mortality risks remain the same throughout their lives, one in 10,000. They reach sexual maturity at around six months old and have an expected lifespan in a lab of six years. However, some live to be over 30 years old. Even then, some continue to breed. Rochelle said that the current research suggests they don't age like other mammals and show little to no signs of aging. Their risk of death doesn't even increase once they reach 25 times past their reproductive maturity. Number 15. Electric Eels Plenty of fish can produce electric currents to communicate and navigate waters with poor visibility, but typically these electric currents are less than a volt. The electric eel is different. They can generate currents of up to 600 volts, which is more than enough to stun or even kill their prey. A shock from an electric eel can also be deadly for humans. Electric eels are a member of the knife fish family and mostly live in the fresh waters of South America's Amazon and Orinoco River basins. Stay away from the muddy bottoms of these waters because you can be in for a shocking surprise. And if you don't believe me, let's find out just how deadly 650 volts can be, shall we? About 100 to 300 volts would shock your heart into defibrillation. Anything higher than that would stop your heart. The shock of an electric eel is also up to five times stronger than if you were to stick your finger in an electrical socket. It's so strong, in fact, that animals as large as horses have been shocked trying to cross rivers containing electric eels. They're deadlier than you think they are. Number 14. Tardigrades 
picture the toughest animal in your mind. You might picture the hippo, an angry animal that kills hundreds of people yearly, or the lion, which sits near the top of the food chain. But I bet you didn't have tardigrades, also known as water bears, in mind. They might only be microscopic at just half a millimeter long, but they are easily the toughest animals on Earth. You just can't kill them. They're already notable because they're most likely the smallest known animal with legs, but they also stand out for being able to withstand environments that would kill us in seconds. Some of the 1,300 known tardigrade species can survive many years and even decades without water. They can also withstand the pressure of 6,000 atmospheres and handle temperatures as low as negative 272 degrees Celsius and as high as 100 plus degrees Celsius. And that's not even the best of it. You can expose them to radiation hundreds of times more powerful than what it takes to kill us, and it doesn't even seem to phase them. Researchers have even exposed them to the vacuum of outer space, and they seem to tolerate it just fine. One tardigrade was even frozen solid for more than three decades, and once unfrozen, was alive and well, and even managed to reproduce. You're probably curious if anything can kill them, and yes, they can be killed. Exposing them to water at 82.7 degrees Celsius, or 82.7 degrees Fahrenheit, can result in a tardigrade's death. Number 13. Peacock Mantis Shrimp Peacock mantis shrimp are exciting for their beauty. I mean, just look at all those magnificent colors. No wonder they have peacock in their name. But scientists are intrigued about these amazing crustaceans for another reason. Their incredible strength. They don't look strong, but looks can be deceiving. They have club-shaped raptorial appendages that basically give them superpowers. With these appendages, they can crush and harpoon their prey with absolute ease. Their legs can move so quickly that you basically won't even see them move. In fact, the leg movement speed is so fast that it's as quick as a 22 caliber bullet. It can strike its prey in 1 3,000th of a second with incredible force from 500 to 1,500 newtons. Such is their power and ferocity that you couldn't keep them in an aquarium enclosure if you tried. They can break the glass without any effort. Peacock mantis shrimp might be no bigger than a cigar, but seeing them in action will shock you. They deliver the initial blow to their prey with one arm before following through with a second shock. The movement is so fast that a hydrodynamic cavitation bubble can form, resulting in an implosion with a lightning flash and shock wave. The prey of peacock mantis shrimp really don't stand a chance. Number 12. Cheetahs Cheetahs are fast. We all know that. The record speed recorded by a veterinary surgeon in Kenya was 102 kilometers or 63.37 miles an hour, which is incredibly fast for something without an engine. And you might think that the speed of a cheetah is what makes them so adept at hunting, but experts aren't so sure. When researchers put collars on cheetahs with GPS to record their location data, a gyroscope for angular motion, an accelerometer for speed measurements, and a magnetometer for location accuracy, they were shocked by what they learned. Cheetahs weren't great hunters because of their speed, but instead because of their acceleration and turning speeds. After tracking five cheetahs and analyzing the data of 367 runs, they found that the top speed of most cheetahs was only around half of the record speed previously recorded by that vet surgeon. An average cheetah's hunt lasted about 180 meters, and they only covered about 6 kilometers daily. Researchers also noted that most cheetahs only hunted twice every three days, meaning that high-speed runs only comprised a small percentage of their daily activity. After looking at their top speeds and noting the acceleration and deacceleration data, they determined that the cheetah's top speed had no bearing on their hunting outcome. Instead, it depended more on how quickly they could slow down and turn quickly. Number 11. Mimic Octopus Marine animals can go to great lengths to protect themselves from predators. After all, if they don't, they die. It's that simple. And while it's quite common for many marine animals to have color-changing cells, also known as chromatophores, to blend in with their surroundings, the mimic octopus has another ace to play. 
Mimic octopus can not only change their color and texture, but they can also change how they move their arms to impersonate other animals. We've only known that the mimic octopus even existed since 1998, but we already know they're capable of mimicking at least 15 different species to keep themselves safe. The mimic octopus can easily take on the appearance of a lionfish by spreading out its arms, changing its colors to brown and white stripes, and propelling itself through the water column. When a predator sees a lionfish, it's gonna give it a wide berth since they are known for their sharp and venomous spines. And if it needs to act in a hurry, the mimic octopus might turn itself into a flatfish known as a sole. They will position their arms flat against their bodies and flatten themselves out at the bottom of the ocean floor to mimic the real-life shape of the flatfish. If a mimic octopus is feeling threatened for any reason, it can also make itself look like a sea snake. It'll hide six of its arms into its burrow and leave two of them out. After changing its colors to have black and white bands, it looks like the highly venomous sea snake that most marine creatures leave alone. Number 10. Geckos Have you ever wondered how geckos seem to defy the laws of gravity? They can scale vertical walls with absolute ease, whereas we'd probably fall to our deaths if we tried. Well, it's all down to the weird little hairs on their toes. Each of their toes has hundreds of hairs called seti, which split off into even smaller hairs called spatulae. They appear bristle-like, even though you need a microscope to see them in all their glory. These little hairs make the toes seem sticky, helping them navigate vertical walls and even hanging upside down. Such is the uniqueness and effectiveness of these hairs that scientists have studied them at great lengths to be able to use the same technology in our own products. So far, we've learned how to seal wounds without stitches and even create sticky paddles that soldiers might be able to use to scale walls. But we're still learning, and more recently, we've learned that geckos can actually turn the stickiness on and off as they need it. Researchers have discovered that the effectiveness of their stickiness comes down to a balancing of forces and the angle of the hairs. Geckos aren't just sticky all the time, they have to move in certain ways to make use of their stickiness. Rather than the hair standing upright on their feet, they branch out at oblique angles. The more horizontal the hairs are, the easier it can be for geckos to stick to a surface and support more weight. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for some genius to bring out gecko-inspired socks and gloves so we can all try out wall climbing for ourselves. Then I'll just need a web shooter to finally realize my lifelong dream. Number 9. Duck-Billed Platypus Duck-Billed Platypus are perhaps one of the most unusual animals on Earth. Just look at them. It's like Earth's creator had a whole lot of leftover body parts after creating every other animal and said, well, that'll do. They're puzzling in every sense of the word, with features of birds, mammals, and amphibians. Such is their uniqueness that naturalists thought they were a hoax. Zoologist George Shaw analyzed one in 1799 and thought it was an exotic forgery. It has the webbed feet and bill of a duck, the body and fur of an otter, and the tail of a beaver. And males are also venomous, with stingers on the heels of their rear feet. Oh, and they lay eggs, but suckle their young. It's absurd. Even their reproductive habits are downright bizarre. They are just one of two mammals to lay eggs, and the female will seal herself in a chamber of her burrow to lay her eggs. After producing one or two of them, she'll hold them between her body and tail to keep them warm until they hatch in under two weeks. Once born, the baby platypus are about the size of lima beans and rely on their mothers to keep them safe until they're about four months old. By that age, they can swim on their own. Then there are the weird ways in which they get their food. As they can't see food or objects in deep, dark water, they use electrical signals to track them down. Have you ever seen a more absurd animal? I think not. Number 8. Lyrebird If you need to reenact the Star Wars movies using only sounds, hire the lyrebird. 
Their repertoire is incredible. Not only can they make classic bird sounds, but these ground-dwelling Australian birds can also imitate humans and make sounds like chainsaws, mobile phones, camera shutters, car engines, alarms, and barking dogs. They can also mimic explosions, musical instruments, and other birds. While they sing throughout the year, you're definitely more likely to hear them producing a range of interesting sounds during their breeding season from June to August. That's when they sing the most, with males singing for at least four hours to win over their lady loves. It's not unusual for birds to sing, but the ability to mimic human-made sounds is not that usual, especially not in wild birds. You're more likely to see this behavior in captive species. Aside from their magnificent voices, lyre birds are interesting for other reasons. They are strikingly beautiful, with males boasting massive tails that they fan out when trying to court their ladies. They also get their name from how their outer tail feathers curve into the shape of a lyre. Number 7. Archer Fish it won't take you long to work out why the archer fish is called the archer fish. They use archer-like techniques to capture their prey, and it's actually quite interesting to watch. While some fish just hide in the water waiting for tasty morsels to come their way, archer fish take a more proactive approach. They can spot flying insects and spit water at them to bring them down into the water. They have such incredible precision that they are often called the anti-aircraft gunners of the aquatic world. Even though they must adjust their aim to make up for the refraction on the water surface, research shows that they rarely miss their target. We first learned about this spitty fish in the 18th century, when it was found living in estuaries and mangrove forests. As you probably know, these areas have insects galore. Knowing that some insects, like grasshoppers, can hang onto plants and branches with multiple times the force of their own body weights, archerfish had to evolve to feed themselves. Rather than waiting for insects to land in the water accidentally, they produced water jets to dislodge them from above. For many years, scientists didn't understand how they did it and wondered whether they might have special organs. However, after 250 years of trying to find the answer, they finally did. They analyzed the first section of water leaving the fish's mouth and measured it traveling at 2 meters per second. The more water they expelled, the faster the water jet was, with the back end power forcing water and momentum into the head of the jet. Number 6. Star Nosed Mole if you were to see a star-nosed mole in person, you'd probably think it was some kind of alien creature and that you'd surely find a crashed UFO nearby. Star-nosed moles are of this world, but they're far more bizarre than any other creature you've probably seen before. While normal-looking, for the most part, it's their face that'll have you highly confused. They have a strange appendage on their face functioning as the nose that definitely does not look like a nose. It's in the shape of a star and has 22 tentacles packed full of 100,000 nerve endings. It seems to make up most of its face, with only two small pinprick eyes above it barely noticeable. The star-nosed mole lives in the wetlands and bogs of Canada and the eastern United States. They grow up to about the size of a rat and are blind. So you might be wondering how they eat fish, worms, insects, and other food to keep themselves alive. Well, it's all down to that monstrous-looking nose. While we use our eyes to observe our environments, star-nosed moles use their noses. When they come into contact with objects, they probe them with the rays of the stars to find out what they're dealing with. Number 5. Hummingbirds There are plenty of interesting birds out there, but you can't tell me that there are that many birds as interesting as the hummingbird. You don't even have to like birds to find them impressive. Not only are they small at just 3 to 4 inches long, but they also have unique flying methods. They have small and efficient flying muscles that make them capable of flapping their wings up to 200 times a second. When in flight, their hearts are also beating up to 1,200 times per minute. And then there's the actual flying part that's bound to shock you.
Their wings move in an alternating figure eight motion, and not only can they fly forward, but they can even hover backward. They can also fly upside down. Their ability to fly backward is thanks to the unique mechanism in their shoulder joint. It's known as the lock and key joint, providing them with the necessary torque to fly backward. Their wings are quite large relative to their size, giving them a great amount of lift to change direction quickly. The vortex of air from having the top halves of their wings larger than the bottom halves also allows them to stay in the air longer than other bird species. Number 4. Elephants we often talk about how large elephants are and how unique these animals are. Occasionally, we might talk about how many people they kill, but aside from those points, did you know elephants are also incredibly intelligent? Many stories have been told throughout time about their intelligence. For example, there was once a story about an elephant named Chandra Sekaran who wouldn't place a piece of wood into a hole without ensuring the sleeping dog in the bottom of it was safely removed. Another story is told of an elephant that would place vegetation under his feet to stop himself from sinking into the muddy ground. These stories are just two of the many that allow us to gain insight into an elephant's mind. They are thinkers, and their actions are calculated. Researchers think species with large brains tend to have greater cerebral cortex development. This gives them a great learning capacity, especially regarding complicated tasks. We also now know that large animals with large brains also have better memories. They can retain information for longer and even remember individual human beings and their own kind. Number 3. Alpine Ibex if we wanted to climb up the side of a cliff, we'd need harnesses, special shoes, and a whole lot of specialized equipment to stop us from falling to our deaths. Alpine Ibex don't need anything. Don't believe me? Pay a visit to the Cincino Dam in Piedmont, Italy, and you'll spot a whole bunch of Ibex casually standing on its near-vertical walls. While we would certainly fall to our deaths trying to climb the damn walls, these ibex do it almost effortlessly. According to the BBC, the ibex climb those walls in particular because the concrete is a form of salt lick. Their vegetarian diets can lead to salt deficiencies, so they crave salt to help their nerves and muscles function. Knowing the concrete can provide the salt they need, they navigate the perilous walls and lick it to their heart's content. But how? I mean, I don't see any ropes holding them up. Well, they have elastic and rubbery sole pads on their hooves. These sole pads and their sharp hoof edges help them cling to any slight rock imperfections. Number 2. Hagfish There's only one word to describe the hagfish, and that's yuck. Even seeing pictures of it makes you want to vomit. But there's a reason why scientists are so intrigued by this critter. It's a slime-emitting creature that hasn't changed or evolved in the 300 million years it has been around. Definitely shows. While the hagfish has a skull, it doesn't have a spine. It also has strange, saggy, velvet-like skin and a huge mouth with rows and rows of razor-sharp teeth. It's honestly a creature of your nightmares. Hagfish are mostly around 20 inches long and have eel-like bodies and paddle-like tails. They tend to be dull pink in color but can range from pink to blue-gray depending on their species. And perhaps the grossest feature of all, they produce slime. Which means they could probably have a hit YouTube channel. What's up with kids and slime? They excrete the slime from around 100 glands along their flanks and use it as a defense mechanism. I don't know if there's any sea creature grosser than the hagfish. Number 1. Dragon Millipede the Desmoxetes purpurosea, also known as the dragon millipede, is quite an intriguing creature. Some people call it the shocking pink dragon millipede because it's a striking pink color. This makes it easy to spot.
Even though its color certainly makes it stand out, we actually haven't known about it for very long. It was only formally described in 2007 when it was discovered in a limestone cavern in Thailand. It's believed to live in leaf litter, and you're more likely to spot them after rain showers. But aside from its color, what makes this creature so exciting? Well, it's kinda toxic. Dragon millipedes have hydrogen cyanide producing glands. These glands protect them from predators. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the International Institute for Species Exploration named the dragon millipede one of the top 10 new species of 2008. While our human ingenuity has allowed us to create tools and equipment for our protection and convenience, it's undeniable that we pale in comparison to the innate abilities possessed by our animal counterparts. Who could have fathomed the impressive self-defense skills of an anteater or the gravity-defying prowess of geckos? Can you think of any other animals with unique forms of defense? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.